Hey, what up, everybody? Uh, Stevie Breach coming to you. Tonight is the night, Monday Night Raw. We get to see the return of Triple H. I uh, get to see him, you know, two weeks out of his beating from uh, Brock Lesnar. He's going to be coming out with that broken arm gimmick again. And um, all news on Triple H is that he is uh, bruised and beaten, pretty much. Uh, beaten to the point where I guess he's going to be sulking uh, about his career being over. Uh, you saw him at the end of SummerSlam with his head down, uh, sort of thanking everybody, but saying he was sorry that he couldn't defeat the monster Brock Lesnar. I don't know. It's it's hard for me to picture a bruised and beaten Triple H. If it's to me, they're hyping up you know, him coming out to say that he's retiring, but we're only going to get uh, what Ric Flair did uh, back in the day when he just came out, acted like he was going to say he was retiring, and just flat out, you know, I'll never retire. And then uh, saying he was going to wrestle forever. Uh, I, I know that we are you know, slowly evolving into a new Triple H. Uh, where he is the leader of the WWE. No longer the, uh, the head ass kicker of the locker room. Uh, the one that everybody fears. Knowing that he could win the championship. And beat anybody on the roster at any time. Except John Cena I guess you could say. Um, but um, it's it's hard for me, you know. Triple H is, is my favorite wrestler out there, and nobody wants to see their, you know, their favorite. If you're looking at baseball players or, or football players, nobody likes to see their favorite quarterback get old and uh, not be able to make that pass out of the pocket anymore. Or, you know, always looking over their their blind side, you know, looking for that that hit uh, to take him out. Um, but I I know that is what's best for WWE is is for Triple H. Uh, to be no longer be an everyday competitor. We have to move on. We have to give those spots up to other guys. But Triple H will always wrestle. Um, you know, I, I think he will always have a match, you know, at least once a year, maybe twice a year in these big matches. But you'd be a fool to think that Triple H isn't going to wrestle again sooner than later. I mean, he's going he's to fight Lester. I mean, that's the, that's the only thing they're setting up for is a rematch. And where we go from there, I don't know. When I was doing my live call-in show last night, I was thinking the the storyline would be that uh, Lesnar would come in, beat Triple H again, uh, and that would set up um, Triple H basically setting up the match of uh, Lesnar versus Taker, seeing, uh, all right, you can beat me, but uh, yeah, can you beat this guy? And Undertaker would be the guy that would save the locker room and uh, and save us from the monster Brock Lesnar, if that is the way they're going to have Brock Lesnar uh, uh, exit the WWE and go back to whatever he's going to do. I, I'm really not looking for Brock Lesnar to be here in the future. So, some people are saying that um, this match is going to happen at Survivor Series or maybe the Rumble. I would love to see Brock Lesnar jump into the Rumble, but I don't know. It, it's just hard. What I'm really expecting for for Triple H tonight is this to be a slow building feud. So I think he will come out tonight bruised and broken with his head down, apologizing to everybody, saying that he couldn't beat him, and. I'm really hoping that I don't hear the words retirement out of his mouth, but um, you know, we have to get him to the point where he's just beaten down enough. Uh, I, I, cause I'm not really looking to see Brock Lesnar come back. I don't see him doing anything in these dog days up here of the, of, you know, these bad pay per views uh, where you know WWE doesn't care before they kick it in high gear again. Uh, I would love to see you know Brock Lesnar make his return at the Rumble in it. Uh, maybe you get out of Triple H come down and knock him out that way uh, during there, but it's definitely going to be weird seeing a bruised and broken Triple H tonight, you know. What do you guys expect? What are you guys thinking? Uh, it's going to be a, you know, three-hour Raw, uh, so we're, we'll see what we're doing. It's one of the last ones before they do uh, live real football on Monday night, so, uh, you know, in theory, uh, WB, you know, would be hopefully, you know, bringing out the big guns for the night, but I'm not expecting it. I'll probably just lay down for the NFL like they normally do. But if they were smart, they'd break us out something great tonight. But we'll see. Have fun, guys. Peace out.